Okay, question 18. So we're adding fractions. So whenever we add fractions, we need to make the denominator, the bottom numbers, the same. How can we do that? So if we times this one by 5 and this one by 7, the bottom numbers will be the same. So 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 7 is 35. 1 7 is 7 and 5 sevens is 35. So then we add them up. So 10 35ths plus 7 35ths is 17 35ths. Okay, part B. So now we're dividing fractions. So the first thing we're going to have to deal with is this mixed number here. So I've got one whole one and two thirds. I need to make it into one fraction, so a top heavy one. So one whole one, one times three is three thirds and two thirds makes five thirds. So one whole one is three thirds plus, poor drawing, plus the two thirds I've got here. So in total, I've got five thirds divided by three quarters. So to divide fractions, we say dividing is the same as timesing and flipping the number over. So dividing by three quarters is the same as timesing by four thirds. Some people call it stick, twist and flip. So we change it to a times and flip over the second fraction. So then multiply the top. So to multiply fractions, we multiply the top, multiply the bottom. Five times four is 20. Three threes and nine. So we've got 20 over nine. It doesn't say we have to give our answer in a certain form. So I'm gonna leave it as 20 over nine.